I should have named this video something different. <laughs> what else am I going to name it though? I just... I should have named it something different. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today I want to talk about the Minuteman Challenge. So, uh, here's the deal. Uh, historically, right, in, in America, if you remember your third grade history, we had what we called Minutemen. And basically, uh, not that kind, these, these were the Minutemen that were ready to go at a moment's notice. So that they had their, their kit set up, you know, their musket, their bag with their ammo and whatever they had. I don't really know what a 18th century Minuteman kit was. So they have all their stuff and that they're ready to go at a minute's notice so that they can be called out to fight the British. One moment you're working on your farm, next minute, you know, Charlie from down the street rolls up and he's like, hey, you know, the British are coming, we gotta, we gotta go, you grab your kit, and you go and you're ready to, to fight the British, right? And I like continuing that American tradition uh, of being an armed American who has his kit ready to go at a moment's notice. Particularly in the world we live in, uh, with, with the possibilities, uh, or I should say the increased possibilities of civil unrest, uh, having your kit lined up and ready to go is not a bad idea. So, here's the somewhat arbitrary number that I picked. I picked five minutes, okay? Uh, five minutes should be the amount of time that it takes you to get all of your kit on and ready to go. So if I call you or text you or show up at your house and I say, hey, we, we you got five minutes, we got to go. You need to have all your stuff together and ready to go in five minutes or less. Uh, five minutes, somewhat arbitrary number, okay? Uh, however, if it's longer than that, it kind of defeats the point, right? If, if it's like an hour or 15 minutes, it, that kind of defeats the point of, of being Minuteman ready. And less than that, I think, is just tougher with the amount of kit that you may or may not have. So for some of us, this might be pretty simple. We might just have like a grab bag, a go bag, right, with a couple mags stuffed in it, uh, some water and a snack, and we grab that and we grab a rifle and we're off to the races, right? For others, it, it might be a little bit more complicated. We might have a battle belt and plates and a helmet and, you know, everything else. So that might take a little bit more time, but it should still be under five minutes. If it's not under five minutes, again, that's arbitrary, that's made up. But if it's not under that amount to me, it just defeats the point. So five minutes or less is, is kind of my standard. Now, the key to this whole thing, and, I, and I'm going to prove to you that it can be done here in, in five minutes or less in a minute, but the key to this whole thing is preparation, meaning having your kit prepped and ready to go right now. If I came over to your house and we did, it, we did a surprise inspection, is your kit ready to go right now? That means are all your magazines loaded? Your magazine should be loaded all the time. A magazine without bullets in it is useless, okay? Springs don't wear out. I don't know if I have to say that anymore, but springs don't wear out from being loaded. That's not how springs work. So all your magazines should be loaded all the time. The magazines then should be in the kit, right? It shouldn't just be like in a pile or you got one over here and you got a couple over here. Like they should all be loaded and in the kit. So if you have a plate carrier, they should all be lined up. If you have a bag, they should all be stuffed in the bag. Uh, battle belts, same thing. How you store your guns is, of course, up to you. Uh, you know, safes are good ideas, uh, particularly from thievery. But especially if you have small children in the house, safes become even more important. So how you store your guns is up to you. For some of you, you can probably get by just leaving the gun out and leaving it with your kit. Again, that, that's a consideration that you've got to make based on where you live and who you live with, okay? But to be able to access that firearm quickly, in five minutes or less, in order to get it loaded, chambered, ready to go. So if you do store your gun in the safe, particularly, I would tell you to start with a magazine of the gun and probably even chambered. just makes your life easier. All you got to do is open the safe, grab the gun, you're ready to go. But how you store that is up to you. Point being is it's all got to be coalesced in one area. Don't have your, your plates upstairs and your battle belt in the garage and your rifle in the basement. Have it all coalesced around one area, right? So that you can go to one area, that's where all your stuff is, you can put your gear on, you're ready to go. Preparation is what makes this five minutes or less. Honestly, the getting dressed part, the putting all the stuff on part, you should probably run through that a couple times, but that's really the easy part, is putting all the stuff on. The hard part is making sure it's all coalesced, it's all prepped, it's all ready to go all the time. Especially if you go out to the range or you go shooting or whatever, and you come back and you're tired and you don't want to prep the kit again. You want to just drop it, oh, I'll get to it later, right? I'll, I'll clean my gun tomorrow. 
and that's where you get into trouble is over time it just degrades and all of a sudden three months from now you haven't done anything and your magazines still aren't loaded right because you went on vacation and then you got sick and then you were going to do it that one night but something came up and, and so the struggle there is to keep it prepped keep it ready all the time that that's the biggest battle to fight in order to beat the Minuteman challenge is having your kit prepped and ready to go the putting it on the getting ready to go part that's pretty easy so it's all about preparation like I said the actual putting on of the gear that's pretty simple which is what we're gonna do right now I'm gonna try to talk you through it as I do it which might slow me down a little bit but hopefully we'll still make it within five minutes so I'll put a timer on the screen here that'll be a little bit more accurate than what I have, but we're going to go with five minutes starting now. So I'm going to take off my carry gun because that's not going to be part of my kit. I don't need that. For some of you, your carry gun might go in your kit. I keep a shirt with my kit because I want to wear a proper uh, combat shirt for lack of a better word I guess that's what they're called under my plates I just find that a lot more comfortable I'm going to have to ditch my everyday carry belt because I'm not going to need that I'm going to put on my velcro inner carry belt after I tuck my shirt in I typically wear my shoes in the house so it's not something I have to factor into my time but you may have to factor that in to your time. Tuck my shirt in. Finish putting the belt on. I'm here I'm gonna get my battle belt on. And my battle belt has my pistol stored with it. That's how I store my battle belt. However, you might need to transfer your everyday carry pistol to your battle belt because you might just have the one pistol. Line up my Velcro, make sure that's good to go. Cinch down the belt. From here, I'm going to check all my mags and my battle belt, make sure everything's where it should be. Yep, I'm going to do abbreviated ready process where I'm just going to chamber the pistol, check the light. Yep, it works. Everything else is good. I'm going to holster the pistol. That pistol's good to go. I'm not going to do a full make ready procedure because I don't have the time. I'm going to throw my plates on. My plates, I'm quickly looking to make sure all my mags are in place. Taking a big breath. Putting the plates on. Mags are good, med kits here. Yep, plates are good to go. From here, I'll grab my helmet. right, pop my ears on, turn those on so I can hear, there we go. From here I'm going to grab my rifle, sling it over, I'm going to come down and put my gloves on to make sure that those are on before I chamber my rifle so I'm good to go. I'm going to throw my pack on, just a sustainment pack, you can sustain me for about 12 hours, give or take, make sure that's clipped up. Last thing I'm going to do is chamber and check my rifle, light works, optic is good, stock is set, and that's it, I'm ready to go. So that was about 3 minutes and 35 seconds, 40 seconds, something like that the time on your screen will be a little bit more accurate. That's it. That's the Minuteman Challenge. Again, the difficulty is having all the gear ready. Right? Putting it on, that's actually pretty simple. Even to get all this on didn't take me that long. If I had to factor in shoes or knee pads or something else, you could of course do that and I still have time to do that and still make that five minute mark. 
But at this point, I'd be ready to walk out the door and deal with whatever problems I had to deal with. So, that's the Minuteman Challenge. I really should have named it something different. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you have your gear ready and that it is accessible and that you're able to be ready in five minutes or less. Do brave deeds and endure.